This time, I'm going to talk about Couplers and its implementation in Python. In risk management, the risk can be split into two parts, individual risks and dependence structure between them. When we consider the dependence structure between risks, very often we use correlation and covariance. Now, assume we have independence variable x and dependent variable y. So the covariance of x and y is calculated by calculating the expected value of y times x minus expected value of y times expected value of x. The problem with covariance is it's hard to understand. Then we use coefficient of correlation. When we calculate correlation, we divided covariance by standard deviation of y times standard deviation of x. In this way, the correlation will be between minus 1 and plus 1. When correlation is plus 1, that means it's perfect positive correlation. And if the correlation is negative 1, that means perfect negative correlation between x and y. But there is a problem with this correlation. When two variables are independent, we can say the correlation between them is zero. But when the correlation is zero, we cannot say they are independent. For example, in case A, there are linear correlation between x and y. This is easy to understand because the correlation will be 1 and it shows they are dependent. But in case B, although x and y, they are dependent, but if you calculate the correlation, it will be 0. So even though correlation is 0, we cannot reach the conclusion the two variables are independent. Now, let's clarify what is marginal distribution and joint distribution. Marginal distribution is when you have multiple variables, you only consider one variable without considering others. That means you will calculate or consider the probability of that variable without referring to the values of the other variables. The joint probability distribution considers the probability when two or more variables happen at the same time. So, the whole point of the joint distribution is to look for the relationship between two variables or more. Now, let's see what is couplers. Couplers is a function that links univariant marginal distribution to the full multivariant distribution. In our daily life, our daily work, we also use the same method. For example, if you have a big project, usually you divide them into separate small tasks 
and you try to complete small tasks one by one and then you join them together to finish the big project. The coupler is a function that will consider the marginal distribution and then join them together. The coupler function has been introduced in finance in around 1999 and 2000. The complex function is a joint distribution function of n standard uniform random variables. There are many ways to use couplers. And in this video, I'll show you how to use couplers in Python. There is a package called couplers, lib, I download it from this website and it has brief description about this library and about how to use it. Currently this library is only for two variables and it has Frank coupler, Clinton coupler and Gumball coupler. I think in the future it will include more features and more variables. Now, let me explain the data I used in this video. I used the weekly trading volume of Microsoft and Intel. I downloaded the data from Yahoo Finance. And I generated some dummy data to show you the perfect positive correlation. And also some dummy data to show negative correlation. And the interesting part is I generated some dummy data to show zero correlation, but they do have dependency between those data. So this is data I downloaded from Yahoo Finance. This is Microsoft trading volume. Uh, the unit is million. And this is the trading volume of Intel. This is past one year weekly data. And I generated some dummy variable. The dummy x, it start from negative 27 and increased one until reach about 26. And I generated this dummy data Y. This column has the, exactly the same value with dummy X. And in order to show the negative correlation, this column, I show the value of negative y decrease when the dummy x increase. And the last column, I generated dummy data by take the absolute value of dummy x. Now let's go to my Python program. First, I will load the data from this Excel into Python. And in the first case, I'm going to use the volume data of Microsoft and Intel. I'll plot the raw data of the volumes in this graph. You can see this horizontal axis is for Microsoft. The vertical axis is for Intel. And then in this graph, we can see the marginal distribution of Microsoft volume. And here, we show the marginal distribution of the Intel volume. You can see 
the volume distribution is not normal. And in the middle, with this coupler, we can show the relationship between the Microsoft volume and Intel volume. The color becomes darker, it shows more relationship between those two variables. And if you come down, you see this is Microsoft marginal distribution, and this is Intel marginal distribution. And in the middle, again, this is just shows discrete result of this coupler function. And if you check the number of the Kendall's tau, it shows about 0 0.5. It means it has some correlation, not very strong. And this experiment's row shows 0 0.65. And basically, this is Kendall's tau. If it's reach one, it shows perfect positive correlation. If it's negative one, it shows perfect negative correlation. A similar case with the Spearman's row. And this parameter of the coupler, theta, shows 5.5. .5. And the theta in coupler, basically, when it becomes larger, it shows a strong relationship between the two variables. Now, let's change to the second case, which show the perfect positive correlation. I draw the variables here first. You can see this just a straight line. This graph shows the result of the coupler's calculation, and the marginal distribution shows on the side. This is estimated probability density. Basically, it smooths out the edge. You can see it's roughly you can see a straight line here. And this is shows the discrete display. Basically, it's also a straight line. When we check the Kendall's tau and the Spearman's row, we can see it's very close to one, which shows it's perfect positive correlation. And the parameter of the coupler theta shows very large number, also shows its positive correlation. Now let's see the third case. The third case will show the negative perfect correlation. You can see the street line shows like this. When the dummy x variable increase, the y variable decrease. And similarly, it will show line here in this coupler's calculation. And when we check Kendall's tau and Spearman's row, it shows almost negative one, which means this has negative perfect correlation. And also this parameter of the coupler theta shows very large negative number. Now let's check the fourth case. In the fourth case, when dummy variable x increase, 
the y variable decrease first and then increase. Basically, I just took the absolute value of x variable. You can see the coupler shows very interesting shape. And if you check the decrease display, it shows like this. And now you can see Kendall's tau and the Spearman's row is close to zero. And the parameter of the coupler theta is also very small value. That means when you consider a variable doesn't follow a linear relationship, you should use coupler instead of correlation. This is my brief introduction about couplers and its implementation in Python. Please provide your comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.